morning guys i welcome you guys in the mighty name of jesus um so this topic is sometime you're wondering why your blessing has been been delayed i'm going to repeat sometime you're wondering why your blessings are being delayed but i want to say this it doesn't matter what the enemy may try to do to stop your blessing. They can never stop your blessing. Because, guess what? Once you are obedient to God, I'm going to say it. Once you are obedient to God. And obedience is basically the key to basically conquer the enemy. Once you are not being obedient to God, that means, that means you are being obedient to the enemy which is the dark side so once you're being obedient to god the enemy and his associates the people on the dark side may feel as if they can conquer you but here is the key to basically conquer the enemies and his associates and i get this word to be de to delivered and i'm going to be obedient the key to conquer the enemy and his associates is basically being obedient to God. And so at times, sometimes you wonder why your blessings they are near to a virtue. And, you know, it, it seems close, but you are not getting through. That is because most time, the enemy is basically working to basically delay your blessing. And so that is why it is necessary to have the spirit of discernment because discernment can break all you being obedient to god and having the spirit of discernment can break all familiar spirit and all monitoring spirit i'm going to say it again being obedient to god and you know asking god to basically grace you with the spirit of discernment can basically give you this can basically let you overcome all my monitoring spirit and all familiar spirit because once we go outside of god or once we are not um following god or once you know we lose we lose contact with god basically our interaction with god that is when the enemy basically comes to creep in to take us off our growth path and our journey path so once you are being obedient to God, once you obedient, being obedient to God and God continue to release his angels, because even though we are praying and we are fasting and we are, you know, we place God as the leader and the center of the, the, the director of our life, God basically have to have angels that he basically released to be our guidance or guiding angels then, right? And the minute you begin to, you know, to go off your past, uh, the path with God and basically, you know, let the enemy begin to distract you and begin to take you where he basically wanted to take you. That is when, you know, God angel or God grace is basic, basically fall off of you. And that is why it is important to be obedient to God. And so the enemy may try to delay your blessings at time, but he can never delay it because guess what? Once you are under the coverage of God, once you are living who God basically wants you to live, the enemy may feel as if he can delay stuff and take stuff from you. Once you are covered underneath the presence of God, once you are living who God wants you to live, once you are following God and being obedient to God, the enemy can never conquer God. I'm going to say it. The enemy and dark force of darkness can never conquer light, which is God. So the key to, you know, to receive in your blessing and to stop delay on your life is basically following, obe being obedient to God. Being obedient to God, you know, following God. Do whatsoever God basically wants you to do and const be in constant dialogue with God. This is how you basically overcome the enemy and his, and his, and his, and his associate. Being obedient unto God. Be focused, steadfast, and stead still in God. This is how you basically conquer the enemy. Conquer the spirits of delay that the enemy sets to delay your blessing and to block your blessing. And so, I get this message to be delivered and I'm delivering it. 
Sometimes we are wondering how our blessing has been delayed and been stopped because the enemy knows the plan that God has for us. The enemy knows the victory that basically awaits us. And because the enemy do not want us to basically get the blessing and receive the blessing that God, God basically offers us, more time he sends out people in spirit, send out spirit to basically stop and delay your blessing. So the key to conquering the enemy is basically being obedient unto God. And you know, the enemy, let me say this, the enemy do not have no power over the Almighty because there is one, only one and true and living God. There is only one and true and living God. There is no other God but God above who sit high and glow. So the enemy may try to basically stop your blessing or try to delay your blessing. But once God is with you, once you are living, oh God, that most I want you to live. There is the enemy cannot stop or cannot stop your blessing. You are going to receive your blessing. It doesn't matter what kind of spirit spirit is sent out it doesn't matter what kind of spell it, it, they, they are casting it doesn't matter what kind of altar are laid to basically with your photo to basically delay your blessing the enemy can never stop the power and stop the light that bless god